Have you been the victim of unfair treatment by a business or a corporation? Has this ever happened to you? You're at your photography studio and you reach for your all new Sony A6700, but it's not there. Instead, it's been replaced by a 1998 Jeff Gordon NASCAR 35mm camera where the shutter button is a gas tank. Then, when you go inside to load film into the camera, there's a coupon for Bloomin' Onion at an Outback Steakhouse in Tokyo, Japan. But, when you read the fine print, it says you must use this coupon in three days or they're keeping the Sony A6700 forever. So you spend so much of your own money to fly all the way to Outback Steakhouse in Tokyo, Japan with your 1998 Jeff Gordon NASCAR camera, and when you get there, there's a single boxing glove in your room. Then, your business coach Steve calls you from home and laughs and says, ha ha ha, Ah, the coupon is fake and I have your Sony A6700, bring me the Hello Kitty skateboard. So you have no choice but to buy the Hello Kitty skateboard with your own money and fly home. Then, when you try to give it to him, Steve says, do a kickflip or I'm keeping the Sony A6700 forever. But you haven't skateboarded in years and you can't do a kickflip anymore. So your business coach Steve gets to keep the Sony A6700. Then, he becomes a really successful content creator with the camera that he stole from you. Then, on his new channel, Steve admits that he wasn't even a business coach and was actually a tennis coach and that he was scamming you. Has this ever happened to you? Hi there, this is the Sony A6700, and that means it is the 6,700th camera that Sony has released. Quite an incredible milestone considering they just launched the Sony A1 back in January of 2020. This means they've been releasing an astonishing 223 cameras per month, or seven cameras per day. No one else in the industry is competing on this level. Oh, and if you're into wedding photography and want my full shot list, email templates, and preset pack, there's a link in the description, you can go get that. Now, let's go to the cottage with the all new Sony A6700. And then run the other way. And keep looking at the camera with your face, like you're running on a street. Here at the cottage, you'll find a dog, another dog, and the Sony A6700. For me in use, this camera actually feels like a smaller body APS-C version of my Sony A7R Mark V. When paired with an incredible lens like the Sony 16-55 to f2.8, it becomes a real dream camera. It's a very fast sensor and fast read speed. The buffer clears quickly, allowing you to do both photo and video in the same scenes easily. Got it. It's a 26 megapixel camera, which in my opinion is perfect for general photography use. The high ISO performance looks good to me now, but it will be a few more days before Lightroom updates to let me have proper access to the RAW files. You get 14 plus stops of dynamic range in movie recording, and you also get my favorite picture profile, S-Cinetone. You also get S-Log3, if you're into that, as well as user assignable LUTs, which is pretty cool. There's that nice autofocus processing unit they claim is AI, and it will do subject detection on a variety of different objects. The autofocus, as you'd expect, is amazing. For the technical, it has 759 phase detect autofocus points that cover 93% of the screen. 93 is my favorite number, and I'm happy that Sony takes this into consideration when making their cameras. You also get focus breathing compensation if you choose to enable it. The in-body image stabilization gives you five stops, and I personally run it on active stabilization all the time. Active stabilization adds a layer of software stabilization, which does come with a small crop, but in my experience, it's very good and worth that crop. It uses the in-camera gyro sensor to make the right decisions, and sure, you can do this all in post-production, but it's easier to just get it right in camera. It doesn't look like there's a crop in 4K 60, but there is a slight crop in 4K 120. There is also HD at 240 frames per second. 4K comes with full pixel readout, 6K oversampling, 422 10-bit, all I, which means the footage of me doing high kicks looks really nice. I'll have to remember to get that shot. We forgot. Here's a high kick from Japan a few weeks ago. For video, you also get the auto framing feature, which will track and zoom in as you move around a scene, which is really helpful for making static video content shots a little bit more interesting. You can do lossless raw if you're into that, as well as select between JPEG, HIFE, and HLG image modes. 11 frames per second in mechanical and silent shutter mode with autofocus and auto exposure tracking. When it comes to ergonomics, this camera's a really nice time. The body is dust and moisture resistant. The grip is nice, the buttons are nice, and as you'd expect, a fully articulating screen. Also, I just want to point out how nice the photo to movie to S&Q switch is on the back here. I want this on all of my other Sony cameras now. There's also USB-C, PD for fast charging, and a mic and headphone jack. That said, I'm rarely using the mic jack anymore. The multi-shoe mics are becoming incredible, and it's nice to not have to connect with the cable. This one is my current favorite, which also was released today. This camera is very lightweight and easy to bring with you. When paired with something like the Sony 11mm Prime, it makes for a really nice and compact kit for self-filming or making general content out in the world. I am really enjoying this camera so far. A lot more to come with it. And if you're a wedding photographer, don't forget to grab my shot list, email templates, and preset pack in the description below.
Not me.